Hey guys. <clears throat> so uh, I've been getting some comments um, with the Crazy Stone uh, Level Up series. Uh, had a lot of comments along the way, <clears throat> but uh, a recent one was that it was presented at the Fordon level. And uh, it's like, hey, this is really helping us a lot. Uh, please don't stop, this kind of thing. It's, I love these comments. I love you guys sending in comments. So I'm going, that could mean a lot of things, <clears throat> but I'm going to assume that this guy is in the dawn range somewhere and trying to break out into the four or five, six dawn range. So that's kind of the assumption I'm operating on. I don't believe I'm correct, but I have to start somewhere. Okay, <clears throat> so as you know, I have to repeat some stuff here just for the people who don't know it. Uh, my students got together, gave me a birthday present, uh, three lessons with a pro. Uh, it was very nice, uh, learned a lot of new patterns and Giuseckis and started get, becoming reminded of the difference between mid-dawn play and high-level dawn play. Uh, my students, I just teach, just play basic, settle your group, go to the next area. I and mean, that's going to get you up to three down, let me tell you, if not higher. Um, so this will be pointed more at, well, if you're not just going to stabilize, then what else is there? This kind of thing. I may be saying it wrong, but the video itself will, excuse me, I have to adjust my heating pad for my bad back. Okay. <clears throat> So once I took the lessons with the pro, it started the old fire back up. Oh, maybe I can play strong again. And it definitely sharpened me and improved my game. But still, when I hit that six dawn, crazy stone six dawn, bam, it was a brick wall. Uh, so I, a friend, Chris, thank you, Chris. Uh, when he was 12, I befriended him and helped him out some. Now that he's nine on and all grown up, he says, hey, Lance, let me help you. So we're about to look at some results from Chris taking me for where I am now. And I asked him, what's this brick wall I'm hitting? Because I used to be past the brick wall, but that was coming up on 20 years ago. Okay. So we'll be looking at three, this is all to say, uh, we'll be looking at three games I played against Crazy Stone 6 Don, and none of them are complete. They're just, I get to a point where it's like, you know, here's the wall. Yeah, so let's have a look. First game, I'm always the White Stones. Boom, boom no problem. No problem. Okay. Uh, all obvious stuff, no problems, no questions. Where to next? Uh, well, we know not the bottom because white's low and settled there. That's the easy one. The right, very big. Two four fours, both loving to play there. And influence, ready to go on the left. That's some pretty good characteristics. Now we have the top. Less width, but width is the least of the pointers and an open skirt. So I went with the top. He agreed. However, uh, A's fine, B's fine, C, hack even D. These are all fine. Uh, but I went with the most obvious, not wanting to be creative right now. Here, I actually didn't mean to put up all my comments. Let me kind of pretend I get rid of that. Okay, <clears throat> you can see the markings I made. So I'm telling him, you know, D's got to be too early. He says, yeah, right, uh, D's too early. Uh, A... A well-balanced move that does absolutely nothing. 
he can still invade on any of those areas. Right. So why play it? He completely agreed. Okay, so I'm still on track. C must be playable. He agreed. Yeah, obviously C is playable. E, not so much. The right is low and settled, making it smaller. And black has enough stones there where he can start taking control right away. So E's, I want to say, out of the question, but certainly not one of our top choices. Okay. That leaves us with C or B. Just settle with B. Makes sense. Okay, so I was glad to hear that that I wasn't out of the ballpark. As a matter of fact, I got it completely right. But the point is, where's this wall I'm hitting? What I felt such a lack of confidence. Am I supposed to be playing A? I mean, it's this old feeling of what you're supposed to do versus seeing the board for yourself. So I went 3-3. Three, three. And Black Haunted. And I'm like, I'm sorry, that's not right. And he's like, hey, that's not right. So we're in agreement again. I was really pleased. I wasn't as far gone as I thought I was. So I was really pleased he showed me, no, this is all great stuff. A couple little tiny details if you want to be seven done, but just for six done, no, it's all great and fine. And now, here's the first adjustment he would make. Uh, black got a great big wall. That makes the right pretty gosh darn big. Okay, everyone's in agreement. Now, again, I'm pointing this at the dawn level. So there might be a 10 Q going, wait, what are you talking about? Wait, 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 what, what about this? What about that? That's, go watch the 10 Q videos, the 5 Q videos, the 2 and 3 Q videos, Breakthrough to Showdown. Those are some great videos, I think. Okay, so for the dons, time for the right. Where? Okay. You got your A and B. <clears throat> and they're both fine. There's room for style here. But in my mind, there isn't really. And I'll explain this. The problem I tend to fall into is, and that's what I did here. Oh, I'll just play this nondescript, non-action move. Yes, it's fine. But it's not doing anything. While B, we could call it a forcing move or near forcing. And you're more in control of the situation. So this is more of the style, my style. I want to go, go, go. That's uh, how I went from weak six down to strong six down. Tidy up my game and then make every move count. It's the For me, it's the only way of playing up there, playing with the big boys is you better make sure every single move counts. And this, it's fine and it counts, but it's for my attitude, I need to play the other one. So hopefully that made sense. Okay. Uh, now, something about this move um we're thinking what if i remembering that black he showed me a variation here um and it's what if white gets sent to how did white get sent to i don't recall Let's let's put it here. So build a wall, start to pounce on the white stone on top. Black is, it's at least, give me a break, 90% move. I mean, it's not a horrible move. Okay. My plan was here. Fine move. Next, we hit this. Looking good. As a matter of fact, black's pretty much a stick. Fine plan. His idea is, well, third line, probably a little better. Get some base. And yeah, that's standard. Third, I tend to play fourth, but third, yeah, both reasonable. Now, oh, let me go back. I remember what it was now because this was the game. He showed me the variation 
in the game itself here. Okay, so let's forget about my D for a second. See, let's forget about the right. Let's continue with the game. Black pinches. I'm going to... Okay. <clears throat> the C stone, no change. I'm fine there. Okay. He agrees. The B stone. Gosh, how's black supposed to kill that? We got the corner. We got running. Especially if I make the E stone weaker, then B has options everywhere. And the A stone very much wants to come down and close the skirt, right? So the most natural move, don't come too close because Black's strong over there. He's going to get real strong fast. So make it a nice, gentle approach. Close the skirt. And now when we look at the A-stone, it can easily go to the corner, easily go to the center, or easily hassle it's two to one against that black stone. We can easily hassle the black stone. So we have defended A and closed our skirt, and everything was fine. So he agreed with me. So everything's, we're in complete agreement up to here. Now, for the first time, we see a couple problems in my game. And I knew it was there. I just needed someone to tell me. I've, I've been getting focused on points. Save my group, deal with points. Okay, well then, save the group. Hey, living, let's look at it this way, the easy way. Oh, look at me. I'm living. I'm getting points. Uh, took his corner away. What's the problem? Well, I, I've been getting too attached to points. That's the problem. I need to give that to him. Why? Well, he's pretty strong there, right? I mean, four to one, he's pretty strong there no matter what I do. So if he pauses to take points, He's not really increasing his strength there. He's only taking points in Gote. And if I remove it, he's getting thickness in Sente along with all his other influence. That's where I start losing the game. Did you catch that? I'm working on catching that. Okay, so he says, just let it go. And I'm like, let it go. <laughs> I've heard this so many times from students, countless times. I can't let that territory go. And here I am saying it. I'm done. I just got caught red-handed, just concerned about my points rather than my groups. Let it go. Develop the right. Okay, so we're back to this move, third line, whatever. If he takes it, we just go about our business. Everything's fine. We already have our points. And let's talk about that in a moment. We have cash. In area one, all and area two is near cash. That's not small in the slightest. We have most of area three, and we concretely have all of area four. We've got a lot of territory. Does he have area five? No, not at all. Not even close. Does he have area six? No. All he has is area seven. We're doing fine on points. There's that balance I've been missing. Okay, so I'll trust that makes sense. Next. And this is hard for me. This is not something I hope to attain anytime soon. This is... At my peak, I wouldn't have found this move. I started laughing when he played it. It looks stupid. What a pitiful little move. But the point is, if he takes the points, then you have strength. You don't have two, a two-gap thin group. You have a group you can trust that's easy to get an eye, not slightly difficult. Better to fight with is the whole point. That's hard for me. And he and I played a number of variations out, and it's just consistently just that black stick is weak. 
It's just that's what a lot of people don't get. That black stick is weak. And uh, in particular, this stick versus this stick. World difference. Uh, and it has to do with this thickness. Three stones and we net and ladder, the cutting stone versus two stones. So let's look. You can let me cut two stones? No. Will you let me cut three stones? Oh, yeah, let's let's tango. They're strong enough to fight back, harder for white to attack. And I've seen that a lot, and I've always agreed with that, yeah. Okay, so I go to take points. Now, in this position. I'm in the middle of the game, haven't spoken with Chris yet, and I'm thinking, well, my C stone has just been hurt. This is true. But I don't feel that it's been hurt a lot because I can use that D cut. You know, when he starts pressing this and that, that D cut's going to come into play. So Black's D area is not a rock solid wall it's a wall that any sort of um contact play has meaning if it was a thick wall without a cut it wouldn't have much meaning so since there's weakness over at d that gives me a little bit of air and there's lots of room on this side so I'm still, still feeling pretty good about C. He says, yeah, yeah, it hurts you a little bit, but really not that bad. Okay. That being the case, I got the B group where I don't want to use the word settled, but give me a break. Compared to A, we're settled. His A stones horribly hurt. I feel wonderful. Yes, I have to take care of the C group, but uh, and that's not too hard sure seems to me that i'm ahead he says yeah yeah maybe not by a whole lot but you do have an awful lot of cash and he can't really hurt your c group so yeah okay when uh i started asking chris some questions about him and go he started telling me about some of the stuff he's done and go and the types of study he's done I had no idea. He is, I knew he was nine on, but I didn't realize how much study he's done. Really impressive. And, and what he actually knows in Go, pr pretty impressive. He starts going into the details. And I'm like, okay, back off. I can't, I can't go. That's over. I understand what you're saying, but I won't be able to incorporate those perhaps ever. Okay. So I'm feeling good. He plays here. Uh, let's start with the meaning of this black move. And it's a standard black idea. Boom, boom, you fool, Atari. Great, let's play Co. He's risking almost nothing because that was a weak stone. Get, please eat me up. But I'm going to get two moves somewhere else. That's what Black wants. Perfect opportunity for Black to do the co. So I'm like, no way. I can't fight co with you here. And I don't want to go kill one little stone. Therefore, I'm going to come up, strengthening my position on the left, because it was, after all, thin. Knight's move, right? I got a knight's move at C. Got to got to keep track of that sucker, right? Don't let black get too close to that. And I've got the gap right next to the knight's move. Okay, I got weaknesses here. So in this position, feeling good. Oh, I think I'll start co. I don't think so. So you come up, and he says, "Yeah, exactly." So I really, I, I'm doing better than I thought I was. 
I thought I was like, man, I must suck. I'm doing so bad. It says no, up to here. Neither even or white might have an advantage, especially after this, because this black move isn't right. This black move should be, if you want to split, you should split, which allows white to connect under, but then black gets more influence, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm not expecting anyone to understand this other than one Don minimum, right? Three Don, four Don. I'm hoping there's a couple four Dons that are going, oh, I had that same problem. Oh, I've been wondering how to take that next step. That's, that's what I'm trying to reach here. Okay. I come up. I was real. I thought this game's over. It's mine. It was, well, we'll see. He comes up. And we have a decision here. What I didn't want, him haunting here, all of a sudden, my two stones with that gap are awkward right next to the knight's move. And now his group's up. I don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to be defending my position as I deal with the top area. Does that mean coming up? Well, no. That's kind of a free move for black. So I need to keep the pressure up, right? So. Oh, I did play here first because this is so powerful. That's a very powerful black turn. So I started there. And he did get that. Okay. Okay. So looking back, I wonder if I'd make that change. I'm so cautious of this move that I forgot to think of this move. Right, and in the game, I didn't forget that. So I did come out first, which I think now is best. But this concerns me. Okay. So here is another one of my blocks i'm thinking for me this is all about the c group i got to get the c group out in a healthy enough fashion to support my d and hopefully pressure slash attack the e group right c is my focus And the premise being that C is not particularly strong. Well, what I, the, so the things I missed in that equation, D's light. You may well be giving it up. You have no commitment to D. Oh, did you hear my heartstrings pull? But that it's a one massive black moyo. I have to make it live. Or that D stone so dear to me, I can't let it die. I have plans. No. There's a big fight going on. What, what's the D? D is no commitment. Okay, so there's that. I've been fighting in my games. I start stones are becoming dear to me and I don't want to let them go. Okay, so I gotta remove that. Next, if you compare the C group and the E group, who's weak? The E group. So, the only natural move is to cut. Really? Yeah. I was sorry, but what if? And we went through a number of variations. And uh, comes out. Well, what are you, you going to do? You come down, then he's cut. And you can maneuver through this. Yeah, I can. So I go, well, what if you place here? Now you're cut. He says, you're right. There's a cut there. But Tari, he's got to save. Capture, really big capture for white. Not just the points, but also knight's move at A? <clears throat> I don't think so. And B's completely wasted. W waste, waste of skin. 
So I've gained here on top of which he must come out and I'm, he must connect and I'm out anyway and he still has a weak group. I was too afraid to see my C group as a fighting machine and therefore attack. I was too afraid. I, that's one thing that came up in the three games he and I looked at. And before that, I'm like, I'm playing in fear. Okay. So I went this way. I kept out. I like what I'm doing. Check out the left. Oh, that left is getting so easy to invade. And then come out. Now remember, he's got this A cut to worry about. So he can't go around cutting me any way he wants. Besides, I've got the peep at B, and maybe I should play that first. I guess I should play that first, yeah, and then come out. Okay. So in my game against Crazy Stone 6 Dawn, I got this far, and I'm like, my A group's a disaster, my B group's a disaster, his C group is out and I can't hurt it. How did I get in such a mess? And his response is still even. <laughs> like you got joking. He says, Yeah. So um, we looked at all that it meant and how to maneuver. We looked at, you know, how to maneuver the game now. And we looked at a number of errors, and it was all relatively straightforward and recognizing that that C group has no eyes so as long as you get out he's under constant threat and either through this battle the left becomes nothing or there's death or there's it's just not a problem now in his tone it's like well it's not the best you could have done but yeah you're fine okay so that's the first game. Hopefully you see, hopefully you recognize in yourself, oh yeah, I've been playing in fear. I'm seeing a move like B like, I, like I'm committed to it when I'm actually not. I need to see. Stop it. Here. E versus C, E is more of a problem. Therefore, fight. I mean, how logical is that? Any mid on up Don player would go, duh, then why didn't I see it? Fear. That's self doubt, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I haven't played a strong game in, I mean, a strong game in 15, 20 years. Okay. So let's call it quits there, because uh, this took, I thought this would take about half the time. So uh, the second and third one we'll do separately. Okay, hope it was meaningful to you. I'm hoping to pick up some of that old strength I've left back there. Okay, catch you all later. Bye.